Okay, our next concept is concavity. And concavity has to do whether the graph sort of bends in or bends out. So this would be considered concave up right here. This would be considered concave down. Some people like to think of concave up means that the graph would hold water. Concave down, the graph would not hold water. All right, in terms of calculus, how are these, how is this term defined? So if I go from left to right on this function, I have a negative slope, and as I move from left to right, you'll notice that my slopes are increasing. They were negative slopes, they've come down to zero, and now they're getting bigger and bigger, until I get to a point right about here. And then the slopes start to, they're positive, they start to decrease to zero. Okay. Now this is the key distinction about what we mean by concave up and concave down. So just to go back, if the slopes are increasing, if the derivatives are increasing, it's concave up. If the derivatives, the slopes, are decreasing, it's concave down. That is the essential determiner. All right, so let's just put this together. If the first derivative is increasing, now, we just finished talking about what it means when something's increasing and decreasing. And when something's increasing, its derivative is positive. So when I say that the first derivative is increasing, that's equivalent to saying that the second derivative is positive. So when these things happen, the graph is concave up on the interval. Okay, now let's look at it in terms of concave down. So, just to run through it again, if my slopes are decreasing, if my derivatives are decreasing, when something's decreasing, its derivative, in this case the second derivative is negative, we will be on a concave down part of the graph. When may concavity change? It may change, obviously, when the second derivative is zero, because that would be a transition point between a positive and second, a positive or negative second derivative. It might occur when you've got a second derivative which was undefined. Right here, this point right here has a first derivative that's undefined because we have a cusp, so obviously the second derivative would be undefined. And you can see we have a concave up part of the graph and we have a concave down part of the graph. So concavity could change, doesn't always, but it could. Um, as well as points where the function is discontinuous. So for example, the asymptote, we're going from a concave down part to a concave up part. And final term or vocabulary term to know for this section is an inflection point is a point on a function where concavity actually does change. All right, so in this case right here, that's a inflection point, an inflection point because concavity changed. Okay, let's use what we've just talked about to analyze this function. This is a function we know. Uh, the shape Recall that we analyzed where this function uh, was increasing and decreasing in a recent video on the topic of increasing so and decreasing. Now, now, now we want to look at calculus, where this function and is and concave up and down. An okay, let's look at concavity next. Concavity could change, might change, when the second derivative is zero. So we need to look at the second derivative of the function, which if I look back to the top, uh, the second derivative would be negative six x, and the second derivative would be zero when x is equal to zero. So this is a possible change in concavity. If it is a point where concavity changes, we'll be calling it an inflection point. So, does the second derivative change at x equals zero? So now we're gonna look at the sign of the second derivative compared with the effect on the original function. All right, so I've got two intervals to test. Let's test x equals negative one into my first derivative, f double prime of negative one would be six, which means we get a positive second derivative. And if I look back at what I talked about earlier, 
that means that the original graph in this section is concave up. And here at x equals 1, the second derivative would be negative 6. A negative second derivative means I'm concave down. Okay, so therefore we're concave up if the second derivative is positive, and that occurred when x was less than 0. Concavity intervals are always open. When it's concave down, the second derivative is negative when x is greater than 0.